tell you, brother, man, because I never got a chance to tell you, man, but I know you, man, is your core. You know I never told you, but my boy, man, coming out of that MB Baltimore, man, my boy, Javante, man, that's my boy. Right and that's there, my man, man, too, though. That's Javante. my man, too, Javante. I got love for Javante. He that's, might be the one, too. That's my that's the one, man. That's going to be the one. Like I'm trying to t- that's going to be the one. Him, Shakur, Devin, and... Uh, and my boy, a lot of people not talking about him too much. My boy Daniel Dubois, uh, Dubois, I believe, coming out of the UK, man. I definitely believe that he's gonna be an upcoming superstar coming up, man. He's gonna be like the next, the next. I'm gonna say he's gonna be like the next Riddick Bow, bro. Honestly, and for and and, and let me get your opinion on this, since you talked about Javante and all, right? Javante, he came out and said when he was asked about Lomachenko versus Tio, he said Tio is trash. You know. I got love for T.O. too, because, you know, he's from Brooklyn. He's from where I'm from. You know, he remind me of Prince and yeah, all that. But, he, you know, Javante said, my man trash. He said, he said that he had uh, Lomachenko beating him. So I'm pretty sure you are aware of the sparring when T.O. was a little younger. He was like 15, I think, and, and Javante was 19 or around that yes, age I difference. Yeah, I remember about that. I heard yeah, about and, that. and Javante was, he was toying with him. But what you think about what Javante said? You agree with him? Do you think T.O. is the truth? Do you think Javante is giving my man a hard time? How you feel about that? Aki, that is a beautiful question, man. I've been wanting to cover that for a little bit. To answer that question, brother, I'm going to tell you now, bro. I have mad love for T.O., bro. He's an underdog coming up. He got he got a couple fights under his record. He's doing the thing, man. He's got hella power, youth on his side. Man, now, I, can't, I got to give it to him. He's got some skills on him. I feel like he can, you know, use a little bit of, you know, a little bit of tune-ups, you, you feel what I'm saying? But I do feel like Lomachenko is going to be a lesson, bro. I feel like Lomachenko is way more skilled than him. I feel like Lomachenko is more is more of a better fighter than him. I feel like Loma's got a little bit more experience than him. And I and just overall, like, the more skillful fighter. Like, Tio is going to have to put him to sleep, bro. Tio going to have to sleep him. If he don't sleep him within the first six rounds, bro, I don't know what to tell Tio, bro. And that's just just me being real, bro. Yeah. But but at the end, but on the flip side of that coin, bro, if it does go with decision and T.O. Does, does win, you know, um, eight out of those four rounds or, you know, six out of those four rounds, and he does get the decision, who's to say it's even going to go to T.O.? Because, like you said before, Loma does have, you know, Open shorts. he has protection. Yeah. He has protection. You got to win by T.O. You feel T.O. what I'm saying by the WBC? Me, I'm just speaking. I'm not trying to speak out of, you know, decaf term, you know what I mean, and sound bad. I'm speaking off a straight skill and boxing and what I've seen from Loma. You feel what I'm saying? And that's literally what I'm, you know, what I'm speaking on as far as just, you know, ring generalship and boxing IQ. I got to give it to Loma. You feel me? Just out of being real. Yeah. You feel what I'm saying? Now, as far as old boy that called earlier, bro, you just find what Tyson Fury did for real? Yeah. My boy, Papa? I mean, they, 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 they do a decal, bro. They do a decal. You bad with looking at pink? <laughs> you bad with looking at pink? You can't. My bad, Ike, man. My bad, man. You know. I feel you. Bro, I, I'm man. telling you, that's the decals I got to deal with, man. He talking about he don't trust his eyes. What the hell are you going to trust then? I'd rather believe the WBC, Suleiman, a liar that condone cheaters on more than one occasion, that condone Marguerito cheat and claim he was innocent when he cheated Cotto, loading up his gloves, that condoned Canelo Alvarez, Jimenez, and many more fighters for taking steroids and lied on their behalf. He got no integrity or honor. You want to believe that man who known for lying on more than one occasion and footage just proved that that man lied? The WBC said that he was in both dressing rooms and we know his big ass tail ain't Goku and he can't do the instant transmission you know, how the hell are you going to be in both locker rooms? And Wilder proved that's a lie. And footages from BT Sports proved that WBC president was lying. And also the footages on the fight itself, when Tyson Fury cut off the camera in the dressing room, that proved Tyson, the, 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 he wasn't there. Man, like I said, man, like, I, and that's why I got no respect for anybody that they want to disagree, but don't have a leg to stand on. How you disagree? But you don't have a lag to stand on, man. Come on, man. 
Aki, my brother. One of my Aki said, what's my thoughts on the fight? Tio versus uh, Lomachenko. And I just want to give my thoughts on that real quick. So just give me a second. So when it comes to Tio versus Lomachenko, I truly believe that Tio have to get a knockout in order to win the fight. That's first of all. And he has to do it Fact. early on Fact. when, when Lomachenko is still a little cold because that's when you could catch him lacking. And Tio seemed to be a gambler the way he just exchanged with my man Kome early on. So he seemed to have good natural instinct and all that. So he need to utilize that against Lomachenko. And what he need to do, don't make it a boxing match. Make it a brawl. Make it Mexican style. Fight him the way Salido did. If you try to box him, Lomachenko has too much skill and too much ring IQ for Tio Lopez. I truly believe he will outbox him, and I think he will win a close decision. But at the same time, Tio is a live dog. My heart want to pick Tio, but my mind tell me Lomachenko. So I got to go with my man Lomachenko on that fight. But it's a very, very close fight where it could go either ways, depending what Tio does. You know, so with that being said, I got Lomachenko yeah, winning a close fight, but I do not think Tio is trash. Not in a million years. I think Javante the truth. I think Tio the truth. I think Shakur the truth and Devin Haney. These four guys going to be on the top five pound for pound in the future. That's just my humble opinion. Hands down. But I do have my man Shakur number one and the rest, they could compete for competition and position. But either one of them could be the one. Like you, my man, you got Javante as the one. And Javante, he always hashtag the one. He the he one of the most exciting fighters in the sport, one of the hardest hitters, the baby Mike Tyson. So I got love for all of these fighters. You don't have to be just a Devin Haney to be the future. Like Broke Money said. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? You don't got to be, if you ain't Devin Haney, you a bum. Bro, relax. I was gonna come. I was gonna get on whole money, but I'm gonna let whole money sit at home and be a hoe. You know. <laughs> but anyway, I'm gonna and we gonna do what men do and talk brother. like men. Let me say one thing. Hey, y'all, D cat man, y'all need to get a life, bro. Real <laughs> talk. Don't be calling my boy phone. You know, on my boy platforms. I'm hey, talking, you know, yeah, no, wild, let's, 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 You ain't coming H- with no facts. You H- just talking out of emotion and trying to embarrass somebody. Move along. With it's whole money. It's broke money. The man talking about Mr. The Zone, and you never covered a The Zone fight. Quit clout chasing. And the man came in talking about, you blocked me. You blocked me. If I blocked you, how the hell are you calling in? I ain't blocked you. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You're just not man enough to debate because you coming in with your emotional opinion, but you acting like a female. You a whole female. You got exactly. female parts. You talking You talking like a female. You in a relationship with my man, Devin Haney, and that's my guy. Devin Haney will always be my guy. I got Devin Haney back a thousand percent because he is the truth and the future of boxing. But this man, this man making you look bad, my man. I'm going to keep it a buck because he a culture vulture. He causes divisions between brothers because he want to cause division and confusion between Shakur and Devin Haney. Man, let these guys compete. Exactly. It's sportsmanship, bro. I want to see who the hell going to surpass who, Shakur or Devin Haney. I'm really looking forward in the next 10 years when I do look back and be like, damn, man, that man, Devin Haney, he proved me wrong. You feel me? Man, he surpassed my man Shakur. Real, and, even, and even if he's number two, it's A-OK. Because ain't nothing wrong with number two when you pound for pound number two. Because even Floyd Mayweather stated Shakur is the next Floyd Mayweather, he might surpass me. And according to numbers, people lie, women lie, statistics don't lie. Shakur's statistics is comparable with Floyd. He get hit less than Floyd. He get hit 13%. Floyd, at that age, he got hit 20%. My main point is, there's nothing wrong, you know what I mean? Like, at the end of the day, it's all love for both. But don't cause confusion. This man is a culture vulture, and he got exposed on split decision. Exactly. And knocked out. And knocked and out. Knocked out. Another, cool. another body. Cool. <laughs> Worse than Dylan you White. And I, I, know you- I, ended, I ended this decaf career. This troll career is over. R.I.P. Oh, I buried him alive. Sir. Undertaker style. <laughs> Talk to me, but man. I wanted What's to up? tell you, brother, man. Hey, hold it. You're not that pretty. I'm a bad man. Wait, wait. I still got the world. I still got the world. Hold it. Hold it. I still got the world. I bear witness there's only one God, Allah, and Muhammad is his final messenger. That's why I said, Larry, on the Bungu fight, thanking you. They call me the problem, but you could call me the can man, because anybody can get it. 
Africans, Americans, Dominicans, Mexicans, anybody can get it.